We were in Adair last night for the launch of the Adair Destination Plan on behalf of the Limerick Local Authorities. I wish to thank you for prolonging your stay to attend this morning's event. I would shortly be inviting Minister Bradker to say a few words after we've heard from the Chairperson of the Great Southern Trail, the Cahirlock and the City and County Manager. First, I would like to provide you with a brief background to the trail. This project involves the extension of an additional three kilometres from Abbeyfield Town to the Kerry County border of the Southern Trail, which runs along the old Limerick to Tralee railway line. The trail is a unique corridor through the county, providing a continuous walking cycling greenway from Rakeel to Arda to Temple Danton to Abbeyfield, encompassing a continuous designated pathway that runs mainly parallel to the N21. To date, approximately 38 kilometres of trail from Abbeyfield to Newcastle West Town and onto Rakeel has been developed by the Council, the Great Southern Trail Group, with support from various bodies, including the Department of Transport, Falta Ireland, West Limerick Resources and CIE. The completion of this section in Abbey Field has ensured that the main urban settlements in West Limerick are linked by this greenway along the length of the Southern Trail into North Kerry. Chairperson of the Southern Trail, Limo Matney, will shortly provide you with more in-depth background to the trail and its benefits. <coughs> A cardigan air. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's great to see so, so many members of the local community gathered here this morning. It is very heartening to see such a high level of community involvement in the development of our Great Southern Trail. There is no doubt that without such support that this project uh, would, un uh, would unlikely have come to fruition and evolved as we see today. Uh, I would uh, like to acknowledge all the work that went in by so many volunteers on a community basis uh, for the last 20 years or so. Uh, several people present today were around at the inception of the project. Um, great luck, uh, Deputy Mayor, uh, Deputy Donovan, uh, Deputy Dan Neville. Uh, first of all, I really want to thank you very much for giving me the... Um, um, I'm, I'm always taller than people expect, so uh, the microphone is usually a bit low. But first of all, I'd really, um, really like to thank, uh, thank you very much for, um, uh, for inviting me to be here and to give me the privilege of opening this section of uh, the Great Southern Trail. Uh, it's wonderful to think that 50 years ago, uh, the last uh, regular passenger train made its final journey along this route. But we have with us today uh, one of the staff members, um, who, one of the, the last surviving staff member, in fact, uh, who worked on that route. And it was a pleasure for me to meet him, him earlier. Uh, and of course, today we're reopening the route to another sustainable means of transport, uh, cycling, uh, running and walking. Uh, the Brick County Council, along with the Great Southern Trail, has played a leading role in developing and extending the Great Southern Trail with the help of a number of different public bodies, uh, including Falcha, Ireland, my department, uh, West Limerick Resources and CIE. Uh, and I really want to congratulate them on their vision and enthusiasm in helping this project to become a reality. 